Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the Little Guy sport, uh, which most uh, Oklahoma is known for uh, besides football, which is wrestling. The guy I'm going to talk to you today is considered one of the greatest wrestlers in uh, U.S. history. He's from Oklahoma. He graduated from Dell City, Oklahoma. His name is John Smith. He has a big statue in front of uh, Dell City High School and inside the high school also. The field house is named John uh, W. Smith. He wrestled for Oklahoma State University. Uh, he has his own move named out of him, the Low Level Single, which he used in international wrestling and co collegiate wrestling. In collegiate wrestling, he was 154, seven and two. He was a two-time national champion. He was a, a big eight runner-up and a national runner-up as well. He, the reason why he's considered the greatest U.S. wrestler as of now is because he has two Olympic titles in 88 and in 92 according to the Wikipedia and uh, that was in Solo, Solo in 88 and in Barcelona in 92. Um, he was inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 97 after his career while he was competing in his career, he was the first uh, American wrestler to win six consecutive world titles from 87 to 92, which also included two Olympic titles, two Goodwill uh, Games titles, and he also won uh, two Pan American uh, titles, uh, wrestling at 136 and a half pounds at that time. He brought a finesse to wrestling, which was considered mostly a bully sport and a control sport where he controlled where another guy grabs another guy and tries to control the action where he disengaged and used his speed and quickness because he was a little guy and most little guys wrestle if, unless you're a heavyweight and he used his speed and quickness in order to gain a technical advantage so he was the first wrestler to become the master technician and the wrestler of the year in uh, 1990, according to uh, Wikipedia, also, and in, in wrestling, it's a a loner sport. There's no excuses. There's no second guessing. There's no nothing. You have to do it all by yourself. There's no ball, no one to pass the ball to, no one to fumble the ball. It's you versus another guy. You have to control that guy and be able to inflict your will upon him, and then. In the LA Times in 1992, as he's getting ready to compete for Barcelona, they did a piece on him, talk about the mental toughness that one has to have in order to become a successful wrestler. And he has wrestled with broken fingers, uh, sprained ankles, torn cartilage, sprained uh, thumbs, sprained toes, uh, loss of cartilage in his knees, and multiple other injuries in order to block out those injuries in order to win his matches. To be a successful wrestler, you have to be mentally tough and mentally aware of what someone else can do to you and what uh, you can do to them. There's a lot of studying and the other things that go into competing, like missing parties, not being able to drink, having to keep a strict diet. And I wrestled throughout my career, and I did the, mostly the same things he's done. I, I didn't win 154 matches in high school. I won 128 matches, and I was also a two-time state champion and two-time runner-up. Growing up, we looked up to John Smith because he was the little guy who made it to the top and was world-renowned world through all-out wrestling as one of the greatest American wrestlers and the greatest wrestler in, a, in wrestling history. Wrestling is a international sport which they compete in freestyle in Greco-Roman wrestling in the states in the United States we compete in collegiate college style wrestling which is more of a folk style wrestling that they uh, very rarely do these days in the national scene so freestyle wrestling and Greco wrestling is your international sport and as you guys have seen in the news lately they're trying to outlaw uh, freestyle wrestling and Greco wrestling in the Olympics. So that's why I chose the topic of John Smith. And after his collegiate career of competing and being 105, 
I mean, 100 and with the five losses in international freestyle wrestling, he became the head coach of uh, Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, where he has won five titles, five uh, national titles, and two runner-ups from the Oklahoma State website.